And right now we're actually in the crime scene garage at the um, Bureau of Criminal Apprehension in St. Paul. I do work in uh, the DNA section and then also in the blood stain pattern analysis section. And maybe you can explain to us as well why you're, why you're decked out in this suit today. <laughs> well, the blue suit is uh, it's actually a Tyvek um, style suit. Um, and because I'm gonna be doing some blood stain pattern analysis experiments um, with uh, impacting blood, we wanna make sure to um, use the proper precautions, the gloves, the mask, um, and the suit to keep any biologicals um, off of ourselves. So what we have here is an eight by eight room um, that we use for training and for different experiments. Um, there's a hammer apparatus that's set up um, where I'm gonna pour some blood onto the, onto the wood block um, and then I'm gonna pull the hammer back and then release the hammer and that will impact the blood and that will show what uh, an impact spatter or an impact pattern would look like. So this is, I'm using um, human blood. This is actually my blood. Um, and then I'm gonna pour it onto the, the wood block And we actually don't really need to use that much, just a very small amount um, will actually spatter quite a lot. So now I'm going to pull the hammer back against the rubber bands and release it, and that'll impact the blood, and the blood will spatter onto the walls. We're looking at specifically today is blood stain evidence yes uh, and that's really something you specialize here uh, in at the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension can you explain to us what blood stain evidence is yes blood stain uh, blood stain evidence or blood stain pattern analysis is the the examination of the size shape and distribution of blood stains and what we want to do um, with that examination is determine what kind of mechanisms could have um, caused the blood to get into those locations and how it got there. And here at the BCA, uh, you folks are, are really on the leading edge of this kind of research. Uh, can you explain yes. that a little bit for us? Yes, we, um, along with the casework and actually going out to crime scenes and examining blood stain evidence, we also put a lot of focus and energy into research um, and uh, trying to identify different, um, different technologies that can help us um, examine um, the evidence better and also trying to get into the, the details of exactly how blood um, behaves under different um, situations to help us better understand what we're dealing with. What kinds of things can you learn about a crime scene or about a perpetrator or about how something mm -hmm. happened uh, mm -hmm. by the use of, of blood stain evidence? Um, when you see, when you have different pieces of evidence, you can try and determine, um, I guess you can uh, help corroborate the story that um, a suspect, a victim, or a, um, a witness may have given. You can also try and refute it. So you can do different tests to see if, if what you're observing fits a specific story or doesn't fit that story. Maybe you can just show us quickly what, uh, what you learned about the experiment you just did. Okay. So um, basically, if we were to come into this room and not have this apparatus here, and we would see the blood stains on the wall, um, you want to try and take a, um, kind of an overall look and, and see what kind of pattern you're looking at. Um, and what we see with that is that there's actually blood stains that are radiating out from the central area. And you can tell that because of the, um, the directionality of the blood stains. For example, this one, has, it's very long and elongated, and it's got kind of a tail at the end. And that indicates that it actually came from a direction came from down this way. And if you look at the other stains around it, they all have a very similar characteristic, or th that similar shape. So we can use that information to project back to where that blood would have come from. And this week is uh, Forensic Science Week in Minnesota and nationwide. Uh, what do you want people out there to know about the work you do and, and the importance of this type of work, especially here in Minnesota? Sure. Um, you know, what's, what's, really, um, what's really interesting and neat about uh, what, what we do is, is using science to try and help solve crimes and, and um, help provide information to families and, and victims. And, um, and I think that's really what the most important thing is. And also that, you know, we do the work that we do and try and be unbiased. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to provide that information um, as accurately as possible to a jury so that they can make a decision as to whether a person is innocent or guilty. That's not something that we do. We just provide the information. All right, very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.